Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, I'm going to be working on stage 118 of the Ecto-1, and this is the interior ceiling lights. I had just moved the car off of here, and I'm going to show exactly what I have to do to be able to, to flip it over on its back to put this panel in. It's a bit of a chore, but it's what I'm going to do to make sure I don't break the lights off. So let me sit, move this out of the way and get this package open. 118 is more of the roof of the car. Now you've got the, it's the center panel of the roof. And you've got the ceiling lights. I went and checked. I don't have any way to test them. I know they used, they were working way back when I installed them. Oh, you know what? I can't do anything truly without the car here because I, I can do a little bit. So these are the screws that are gonna be used to put it, attach this to the car. And what you've got is you've got two lenses and two housings and then the roof. Or the ceiling. So we turn it over this way. Not sure what these bumps are for. I know that these holes are going to be for screws that come through and then these four holes are going to be for where it attaches to the ceiling of the car. So we turn it over. Let me see is there a left and a right? I don't think so. Oh there is. Right. A left and an arrow pointing to the front. Interesting. So let me go ahead and make sure. The lens is going to fall, go in there. Will it fall out? It doesn't look like it. Let me just make sure. Push it in there. The second one is the interior left face. I'm going to make sure that they're the same. Yeah, the, okay, so these are identical. The fact that they push in here and then there's, okay, that's a little bit better. This one is a little bit firmer in there. This one went in, didn't feel like there was any friction at all. I just want to make sure it looks good. Eh, it should stay. Not very much friction. So looking want to make sure I have the arrows pointing place some center ceiling panel next push the two bulbs in the ceiling light center bend the bulbs down put the state two stickers pretty straightforward those probably cover screws but it really doesn't tell me which one is left and which one is right so let me go ahead and set these aside and I'll show you my process to bring the car over. So the first thing I gotta do is move the pad. Pad gets out of the way. And I set these two boxes upside down. The pad, when I put it back, if I put it this way, it's going to break off the lights. It's actually that long. So I'm gonna turn it this way and this will fit pretty comfortably between the lights I need to make sure I don't set the car too far forward or too far back because I almost hit the lights last time I turned it over. So let me get it. And I'm not going to cause the camera this time. I want you guys to see or hear what a chore this is. You maybe hear me break something. That would be fun. Maybe not. Okay, so. <clears throat> This thing does weigh a ton. And I roll it over, make sure those lights are clear. So you can see the box is still right here. The lights are back here. The lights are here and here, so we're good. Go ahead and grab these. Here's where the lights are gonna come from. 
or here are the lights themselves. I just want to make sure that I've got this in here right. It looks like it's going to go in. That's odd. That is very odd to me. But looking at the instructions, that is correct. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there is a gap between the panels and the wire comes down out of that gap. So something is eventually going to go into that spot. So if I roll the car over, this is the right-hand side, this is the left-hand side. So that's left, and there are different lengths. So this is going to be the left-hand side, this is going to be the shorter wire. And I almost lost the wire, this wire up here in the front earlier. Did not realize it had pushed that far in. So that's going to go on there like that. Pick this back up. There's the arrow. Arrow points to the front. So I'm going to roll this or point this to the front, like if I can get it to stay in place. Let me go ahead and twist the LED in here. I want it to be able to fold the wires down like that. And then you're going to want to lay them down into the trench like that. That's what they give you the black tape for, is to tape the wires down into that trench so that they're not up against the top of the car. So let me get that on there as best I can. And since there's two wires, if you can lay them side by side, that's best. So there's one. And now the longer one, because it's going to be further away, it's going to go into the left, push it in. This time I'm going to go ahead and push it down so that I'm not fighting with it. The arrow is to the front. Untwist the wire a little bit so that it will lay down there straight. It's a very thin channel for this wire, actually. Not thin, but it's wide enough, but it's not very deep. Come on. I'm grabbing the paper instead. Come on. There we go. Let me get this back in place. And see, the thing is, even though it's flipping all over the place right now, it will be fine once it's installed because the ceiling of the car, or the roof of the car, is going to hold it down in place. I've got this just in the wrong spot. Get that wire laid down in there. And it just, it wants to twist, so I'm not going to fight with it too much. Just as long as it is pretty much in that trench, like that. And then I roll this over. Let me make sure wires are not too, twisted too badly. In there like that. Should be right. And there is a little bit of a channel here as well. So if I can make sure that it's 
in there. I would test the lights, but unfortunately, I don't have the connector that will connect to the one that's up in the front. Screwdriver, got my oil. Screws out. And I'm going to put them one at a time in the oil. And actually, this helps me a lot with the front part where I'm going to have to take it back out because of the visors. I won't have an issue getting it back out. I was concerned that this part might block it. But with that big gap there, it won't. Get this back on here. And I'm just getting these started in here first. And then I will actually tighten them all the way down. Here's the fourth one, and it's not wanting to play nice. Biggest thing is to make sure you do not cut the wires with the screws. I've done that, did that on the bus, wasn't very happy about it, had to do some jury work surgery. So that was let me get these all the way tightened. And these lights will turn on when you open the doors. Get this last one tightened up, and I'm going to clean up the wires just a little bit. Oops, visors. So this is this wire is going to lay across here. This wire, they should be roughly the same length at this point. We're going to lay across there like that. Ah, that's why this one's a little bit off. Because it was pulled back a little bit. This is inside where you never are going to see it. Hopefully this will not leave any kind of residue. But I hate having the wires just flopping around like that. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down here. And then I'm going to pull it as far as it'll come out the front here. It'll probably get come further back in. I don't know for sure. But it is now in place where I'm comfortable with it being there. So I'm going to leave this at that. Not much to see on this. Just a little bit of the difficulties of building this, you know, demonstration of that. Really happy to have the car this far. And if you can just look. Chrome, it's kind of funny. The chrome has arm prints on it. Once I get the car done, I'll have to clean all the chrome up or dingy it up, maybe to uh, to simulate um, uh, wear and tear. So, hope you're enjoying this build. I'm having a blast with it. Like and subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video, which currently is every day. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. See what we're doing. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you on the next video.